What's up everyone and welcome back to the Owl's Nest. Today's video we have some more comic books to open. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have some more comic books to open. One mystery box and a purchase that I made on Whatnot. So we'll go ahead and crack open this comic book right here. This is one that I bought on Whatnot. I got it at a really good deal. I think there are two in here. I'm missing the run. If this is what I'm thinking it is, I'm missing like issue two through three or two and three. One, two, three, four, five. I think there's five issues in the run. I like the packaging that they do in these. And the painter's tape is a nice touch too because you don't damage whatever you're trying to open with the painter's tape. It just comes right out. These don't feel like they're bagged and boards, so I do have some bag and boards that I have, so I will put those in there. Yes, they are bagged and board. All right, so it is what I'm expecting it to be. We'll show this one first. Bam, there it is right there. King in Black, number four. I think it's a variant cover. Yeah, it's a variant cover. I just not really sure who is who did the cover. King in Black, I thought it was Venom. Uh, King in Black, number four. There it is, pretty cool. The next one up is the number five. It is a variant cover. Uh, the variants are pretty cool. I'm usually more of a like a first um, printing, first copy or first cover A type of guy. But whenever there are some pretty interesting covers on comic books, I, I can appreciate it. And you can kind of see that, right? All right. Kind of give you a better look. Yeah, right there. That must mean it is time to open the mystery mail call from Comic Tom 101. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, <clears throat> I know I was going to cancel this one, but I actually forgot. So uh, I may stay again for next month because next month we're, they're doing some kind of Venom thing, I think. <laughs> Let's break into these really quick and see what's inside. We'll look at this first. All right, so there we have it this time around. Uh, I believe we're gonna get one of each, but not everyone's gonna be a, a virgin variant. So you'll either get the Magneto or Wolverine uh, regular issue or exclusive issue, and then the one with the virgin cover. Uh, same with uh, these other two right here. Oh wait. Okay, so there's not one per box. So you can get either or, right? I'm guessing, I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, the uh, Stanley, the snowman, I think that is a one in every box. So you will be getting one in every box. And uh, what else? Either or of the uh, Ashcan comics, the digital ones. Ashcan? I don't know. I don't. And there are some big keys in there, which I'm all about right there. All about those big key comics right there. On the other side of this pamphlet, there is a print. So I'm not sure exactly who this is. I think it's a DC character, but there it is right there. That is pretty cool. Nonetheless, I I don't know who this is. It don't look like a Marvel character. It could be, but I don't know. So the first one we have is this digital comic. You can scan the barcode on the back. And I don't know if you got to go to a certain website or it's just downloaded to your phone automatically. It don't really say, does it? Maybe comictags.com, I'm, I'm guessing. That, that's what it says on the back, Com comictags.com. So there's that right there. And I don't know if this is a, like a rare one. Okay, yeah, this is the rare one. There's only 500 of this available right now. All right, so we got another golden ticket. So that means I can get free up to five books included in this golden ticket. I go to their website, type it in, and I get I submit five books and I get one of them graded free. Pretty cool. Uh, not something that I have right now that I can use. I have a few that I want to send out, but I'm usually going to send those to CGC, even though they are backed up for like six months and we won't be able to get them back for almost half a year. So this one is pretty cool. Uh, all you Pokemon people out there, this is a uh, Comic Tom 101's uh, cat. It is butch, but it is made to look like a Pokemon card, which is pretty cool. You can see that right there. What kind of ability does he have? Video view booster. Yeah, I guess it, I guess that can happen. People like cats, so there's that. You can read that if you want to. So this is the Trial of Magneto. It is not the Virgin variant cover. The Virgin variant cover would not have this writing on it. It would just be a 
complete image like that you kind of see but um this one is not the virgin variant cover uh pretty cool nonetheless um i'll i don't know if i'll read this because i got a personality of if i like what i read or i like what i see i want to get all of them and i might just put that up for a little while and see see what happens there so the next one is a boom studios comic and it is one off of that list it is firefly number 25 pretty cool all right, so we got a print up next uh, i don't know who this character is it looks like a dc character but i'm not 100 percent uh, but there it is right there it looks really freaking sweet it kind of looks like a dc character because you see the background behind his head it looks like a the batman logo so i'm guessing it's batman or, or dc related and behind him it says ha 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 who else do you know that says ha 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 in comics joker right so i'm thinking this is a dc uh print three two one bam there we go right there it is red sonya number two it is a 60 cent comic it is big crease down the side right here but i will not this will not stay in the collection for long but there it is right there the next one is a boom studios uh property and it is the mighty Morphin power rangers number issue number 50 looks pretty cool right there uh, i i used to be a huge star wars fan star wars uh power ranger fan back in the day when it was on tv but i have not really read any of the comics nor have i read any of the tmt tmnt comics so i, I am a fan of those i've grown up with the series and everything but as far as like reading the comics i haven't really read any but there it is right there uh, Necessary Evil Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue number 50. So the last one in the box is Stanley the Snowman. There it is right there. It, this one is supposed to be for like young readers to get get them into comics and I think the cover does it. I mean that, that if I was a kid I would really want to read this because the cover looks pretty cool and it is almost that time for the Christmas season so what better time to release a comic like this well i guess december would be the best time to release a comic like this but nonetheless we have stanley the snowman pretty cool yeah those are all the comics that i've got this time around stay tuned for the next video i think the next video i'm going to be doing some type of card comic type of content that is my time for now i'd like to thank you for clicking and watching be sure to give this video a like a comment and a subscribe i greatly appreciate it on the behalf of the owl's nest i will see you flocker collectors in the next one